everybody, this is just a short little video to show you how to use iWork apps in Windows 10 and how to export iWork documents, spreadsheets, and presentations to Microsoft Office file types. I have Windows 10 based friends who freelance that sometimes get project copy from their clients in the pages document format, and they ask me how to open them in Windows, or even if they can be used. I've learned that some people don't even know you can use iWork in Windows, or even export iWork files to their Microsoft Office counterparts. So I'm going to show you how. But first, in case you're not aware, iWork is Apple's free Office suite that ships with every Mac, iPhone, or iPad. It consists of three apps, Pages, Numbers, and Keynote. Pages is the word processor, Numbers is a spreadsheet app, and Keynote is their version of PowerPoint iWork is quite user-friendly and is ideal for many students or those in the creative work arena, but is not as full-featured as Microsoft Office as it lacks some power features such as mail merge in pages or pivot tables in numbers. But it does what most average people or creative users need, such as spell check and grammar check in pages, and normal graphing in numbers as some examples. So I'm going to show you how to access the iWork apps in Windows as any Windows user can actually use them for free, and how to get the data out of them as well as save or export them as Office file types in case you need to use them directly. Apple has made iWork freely available as an online web app, so anyone with an Apple ID can log into iCloud.com and use the web version of iWork, which is almost at feature parity with the actual apps. If you don't already have an Apple ID, anyone can create a free one that will come with one gigabyte of iCloud storage. So let's say you're in the situation where someone has sent you a Pages document and you want to use it in Microsoft Word. First thing you do is log into iCloud.com and then open Pages. Once you're in Pages, then you choose Share and Manage Your Documents. Then choose the first option, Upload Document. That will open a file picker to let you find and select the Pages document. In this example, I'm using a Pages document called Pages Test Document, located in the Downloads folder. You then choose the document and press Open. After the document has uploaded, you can then open the document by double-clicking on it. Now you are free to work on the document in Pages. But if you'd like it in Office, then you have a couple of choices. The one I find works best is to select and copy all text in the document and paste over to Word. In this example, I'm actually pasting it in WordPad as I don't have Office on this Windows installation I'm recording on, but it's the same idea. The second option is to use the Download a Copy option and choose the Word file format. To do this, you click on View Pages Tools, which is the picture of the wrench, then Download a Copy, and then choose the Word file format. Then it will download and you can then open that file in Word. However, I sometimes find this option is not the best option because sometimes the formatting of the document is lost. So when you open it in Word, it looks strange and occasionally becomes a hassle to work with. That's why I like the copy and paste option better, but both do work. You can apply the same methodology to both numbers for Excel spreadsheets and Keynote for PowerPoint. Just remember, when you're exporting to a different file type, not all formatting and or features will always copy over because of the differences between the programs and their functionality. But at least you should get the actual content of the file when you export. Well, that about wrapped it up. That was using iWork in Windows and how to export iWork documents, spreadsheets, and presentations to Microsoft Office file types. If you found that helpful, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every Friday. And I'd like to give a shout out to all the viewers that have already subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.